I'm running my 3D printer with an enclosed build chamber heated now to 70 degrees Celsius. I'm down to 200 watts of light bulbs plus a heating plate to keep it at that temperature. You can see right now I'm printing a Stanford bunny at two times normal size. I found that uh, at 200 watts I had to use a lot of insulation. You can see all of the reflective surfaces inside of the printer now. Top and bottom and all sides and the front plate which used to be all uncovered plexiglass now is mostly covered in aluminized uh, bubble wrap basically. My motors inside are all water cooled. I have two little radiators with a fan blowing through them and a sump pump in this five gallon bucket of water that circulates water to all these little cooling blocks like this blue cooling block on the front of the extruder here. So the extruder has two cooling blocks as you can see and then the motors, there's the X motor with a cooling block attached and I've attached a webcam that points in the window so I can keep uh, time-lapse images and also take a look at what's happening with the printer online. The spool is external. This PID controller is controlling the hot plate keeping the chamber at 70 Celsius and my ramps board is here on the outside of the heated chamber so that stays nice and cool. You can see all the water tubing coming in and all the light coming from the 200 watts worth of light that provides most of the heat for the chamber. The heated bed is now also at 70 C and I'm printing on top of a plastic sheet. Um, so uniform temperature printing onto a plastic sheet. Underneath the plastic sheet is a piece of aluminum to keep things nice and flat but um, everything seems to be going really well. My support material is nice and straight and uh, this print's going to take a really long time. I'm at 25% fill and I should get a really big version of these little bunnies here. The little tiny one is the first one I printed with my old printer. The blue one with some cracks in it from delamination is what I did with this printer before I used the enclosed build chamber. And now I should be able to make a really big one with no delamination using my 3D printer which is enclosed with insulated walls and heat sources running at 70 degrees Celsius. My extruder is at 230 Celsius and I will show the result when this is all done.